It's Lisa Carbonara. I want to talk a little bit today about something that happened and as I go into the short story it might seem like it's going to be a negative story but it's not and so you know if you hear how it all goes it all comes out great. So um, I'm here in the apartment uh, workout area <laughs> and uh, I come here to relieve stress, stay in shape, that kind of thing, when I don't feel like going to the health club or doing a videotape or something. Like, videotape? Did I really say that? A DVD. Anyway, um, so I want to tell you what happened. It's very cold here today. It's like 25 degrees here in Chicago where I'm at. And, um, oh, I'll be in L.A. next week. Yeah. Okay, anyway, back on track. So it's really cold and it's kind of snowing today. And I'm driving and I'm turning into uh, where I'm staying, into the, the driveway. And I see that this guy is walking. And right about when I'm ready to turn in there, because I'm, you know, looking ahead, I could see that he's probably going to be in the driveway where I need to go. Now, I'm driving on a very busy street with cars doing about 50. And these cars are really close behind me. So I put my signal on, you know, of course, so, you know, to give him warning that I'm going to be stopping. Well, he wasn't stopping behind me. So I had to make a quick decision where as do I stop and maybe ha get hit in the back of the car, which wouldn't be the worst of it, but I'd probably be pushed right into this guy who was walking, right? And he's not paying attention because he's so cold. He's walking like all shriveled up like this, a big hood on and everything like that. Or do I just like go fast and wing in in front of the guy, which would probably scare him or piss him off, one of the two, excuse me, but, you know, really. So anyways, that's what I decided to do because I knew I wasn't going to hit him. I just, so I went around. So I park right there. The guy is so mad at me, he starts flipping me off, you know, and you guys know me, and for those of you who don't, I'm, I tend to think I'm a really nice person and I don't, you know, react like that usually. <laughs> so anyway, um, so the guy keeps walking and the street is busy, like I said, and I unroll my window. I'm like, hey, I'm trying to get him because I just wanted to like clear the karma, you know. So I was like, hey, you know, whatever, trying to like call him. Well, anyway, he couldn't hear me, but he heard my voice. So he ends up coming back around. And he's like all mad, right? So he storms up to me. He's going, you B-I-T, whatever. You know, he's swearing. And he goes, didn't you see me there? And he's all reactive and everything. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, wait. And I was about three feet from him now. I'm like, wait, I was calling you over here. Listen, I'm a nice person and I want to talk to you and really tell you about what happened. I said, you know, I told him the whole thing about how I had to make a quick decision where one way... I could have been pushed right into him and the other way I was in control I knew it and I had to make that decision and by the end of our two minute conversation five minute conversation he was all like oh I'm really sorry I understand I get it and he was being really nice to me and everything like that and um, the point of it is I guess we need to find ways to release our stress in today's world and really any any time and really to him he had all the facts I was just another you know crazy driver or you know driver who didn't know what she was doing or whatever he thought I don't know what he thought but basically I can tell what he thought and um, to me I had all the information so sometimes you know I acted with what I knew and he acted with what he knew but sometimes we all find ourselves in situations where we are, get very reactive. I mean, I, I there's been times where people drive close to me or it's not even driving, whatever it is, and I react to it. Like, wait, I just think we all need to step back, you know, breathe before we react and really assess the situation. Even if I did make a mistake and go in front of him, he doesn't need to storm over to me, call, you know, swearing at me and stuff like that. So I just urge everybody to take a step, breathe, think about it. Maybe we don't have all the information before we really react negatively. And, you know, maybe we do, but why not be the better person and, and just handle it, you know, with a little bit more cooth and, and all that. So that's it. That's what happened to me today. I'm going to go for a run here on the treadmill, get my stress for the day out. And until tomorrow, love and light. Woo!